I'm the attachment uh, specialist for the Amy territory within uh, Caterpillar. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, smart attachments. My colleague um, Tom McCullen uh, introduced you yesterday already on the new D3 skitsy loaders and um, track type uh, loaders. Today we are going to talk about uh, smart attachment. The goal for today's presentation is that you understand what is a smart attachment. What does uh, a smart attachment do with our machine? Um, we do have a wide range, uh, big portfolio of different type of tools um, to offer on our skitsy loaders and uh, compact track loaders. Recently, we launched the D3 machine, which is a modernized machine. And for this new machine, we developed also a new type of tools. On the right corner, you see three tools, a backhoe loader, a greater blade, and a six ways dozer blade, all being defined as smart attachment. Today, I'm not going to go too far in the content of the tool itself. I'm going to explain what is the smart attachment so you understand how to recognize the smart attachment. The definition of smart attachment, there are three criteria to meet to consider to be smart. First of all, as soon as you connect a work tool to a skitsy loader or, or contract track loader, there should be an attachment recognition. Secondly, the attachment, when being connected to the machine, should unlock a dedicated screen in the machine display. And thirdly, as soon as the, the, the screen is um, uh, unlocked, then you should, you should have the possibility to choose a mode selection. Take a little bit more deep dive. First of all, attachment recognition. You can see this as a handshake. So the machine recognizes not only there is a tool attached, no, it also recognizes what type of tool, for example, a backhoe loader, for example, a greater blade. In the older machines, we did had different type of auxiliary hydraulics, high flow, high flow XPS, XHP hydraulic, all depending on what kind of oil pressure and oil flow you need for specific tools. Still, the D3 will offer these type of hydraulics, but it will now integrate the attachment into the machine. Unlock dedicated screens. If you look to the screen on the left corner, then you see a shovel. So on the right corner, you see a shovel and a joystick. We call that the mode selection. So you, there is a screen specific for work tools, and then you can press the mode I'm going from joystick into shovel, and shovel means work tool mode, means automatically that the joysticks will then receive the functionalities needed to work with the tool. The third one is mode selection. So you're going to go from machine control mode into attachment control mode. As soon as you are in attachment control mode, then your joysticks normally using for boom up and down or bucket dump and curl will suddenly receive a different functionality depending on what type of tool you connect. For certain tools, we recognize then we have a pattern change. So in the screen of the machine, you also have the possibility to change your pattern. So for example, the Baku 130, which is a new tool, you can have it in an excavator or a Baku pattern. Another tool, the advanced stable blade or six-way blade, okay, you can have that in lift or tilt control pattern. An example of a smart attachment is the BH-130. The BH-130 basically replaces the BH-150 and 160. And if you uh, recognize that tool, the BH-150, 160 had its own uh, levers outside the cap. So the door was basically out of the cap, so you could not close the door. We now have integrated the BH-130 fully into the machine hydraulic as being a smart attachment. How do you recognize a smart attachment? Again, as soon as I connect the BH-130 to the machine, the machine recognizes it is a BH-130 backhoe. 
Secondly, it unlocks the dedicated display, you see it on the right side. And thirdly, you have a mode selection. When you select the mode, attachment control mode, now the boom um, uh, movement from the uh, Baku can be um, controlled or by the right joystick or by the left joystick. And that is basically um, your pattern selection. If you take a pattern selection in a backhoe loader mode, then the boom uh, control of the, uh, the backhoe is on the left side. If you stay, take an excavator mode on the backhoe, it's on the right hand. If you look at this uh, screen here, you see basically the right, the, the left and the right joystick and the functionality buttons. As soon as you connect the tool to the machine, you have selected work tool mode, then the buttons and the joysticks are functioning in the way you see here on the screen. So for example, the right jo joystick and the number one and the number two and the number three and the number four. Now, number three is the right step down, number four, right step up. Um, the number seven plus three is side shift right as an example. As soon as you pick the uh, pattern selection and say, hey, I'm going to go in back hole order mode on the right side, then you see that the left joystick will be the boom up and down and the right, joyst uh, right, the right joystick not. If I go to excavator mode, the right joystick will be boom up and down. Here, uh, print screen of the uh, attachment mode. Then the display, on the, in the display, you see uh, underneath the display, the green shovel means attachment mode is on. And in the display, you can select, in this case, Baku. And the other selection is uh, excavator. Another advantage of uh, the Baku is there on every smart tool, you find two lights on the backside. So from a machine driver perspective, you see those two lights. These two lights have a meaning. Both lights on, solid, means you are in machine control mode. If the left light is blinking, there is an issue of sort something. You can find the issues in the manual. If one light is on, just fixed on, there is an attachment control mode. The left light on is back loader pattern. The right line on is excavator pattern. It's very simple. So the, the back loader booms on the left side, the mini excavator or excavator boom on the right side. Any questions so far? I don't see questions in coming in yet. So let's move on to another example. Another example of a smart attachment is the new Grader Blade, which becomes available in Amy in June 2020, and we launched recently on the Con Expo in the USA. This is a smart attachment again. It's a new attachment. Uh, it's based on our box plate for the further development. So it can angle. It has a two meter wide blade or a two meter 40 wide, both with uh, without wings. If we add the wings to it, it's a two meter 60 and a three meter wide um, grader. It has a 30 degrees uh, uh, wind roll angle, a clear visibility on the cutting edge like with the mirrors, and then a 210 degrees rotation of the wings which actually can make a, you can make a box blade out of it of a purely wing blade. And the advantage of, it, of this greater blade, it, ha it has a constant uh, aggressive attack angle on the blade uh, because of the parallel lift frame. Here you see um, the integration again. So if you have the smart greater blade, you connect it to the machine, the machine will recognize the, smart, the, the tool as being the smart greater. It will unlock the screen. So you're gonna go to uh, work tool mode or uh, the machine mode. So on the right side, you see the green shovel work tool mode on. Uh, white shovel means um, attachment mode is, is off or uh, machine mode is on. When the attachment mode is, uh, is on, uh, you see here the functionalities, again, fully integrated in the joysticks, no extra buttons needed, only the joystick functionalities are slightly different now compared to the machine mode again. So for example, if I take the right joystick to the right, 
Okay, then I tilt to the right. If I take the right joystick to the left, then I tilt to the left. There is another advantage in uh, within the smart attachment, uh, for especially for the greater blade and the six-way dorsal blade. We have a memory recall mirror and a return to zero position. What does that mean? Let's say you drive in one way with a five or 10 degrees uh, um, grading angle and you turn your machine after let's say five kilometers and you want to drive the opposite direction with the opposite, um, the blade in the opposite way with, with the same angle. That's a return to mirror uh, um, functionality. It means I'm gonna go from left side five degrees to right side five degrees if I press that button. And then I have a return to zero, so basically horizontal blade. When I want to go back to the five degrees again, I press memory recall. If I want to go back to return to zero, I press the uh, return to zero button again. This was basically an explanation of what is a smart attachment and how do you recognize a smart attachment. I see certain questions coming in now. The first question is if uh, I could advise if certain smart attachments are available for order. Um, we do have a, a launch of smart attachments right now in the time frame first quarter, second quarter. So the Becoloda BH130 is available now. And what means available? Our dealers can find them in the price pages and they are orderable. The smart grader blade will be available as targeted to early June 2020. Another question is, are smart attachment available for all machines? No, the smart attachment are specific at this moment for the D3 uh, machines. Another question. Is there an application where smart attachments are better than normal attachments? Well, as I said during the presentation, the smart attach attachment is an integration. So it is a seamless usage of the attachment. It is like an extension of your hand and your, and your memory, basically. So when you work with a smart attachment, it automatically compensates what you are doing. So instead of realizing now I have to press this button or I have to move this joystick, you, it's more, much more natural um, the way you work. And that uh, helps in, in yeah, doing the job in a better way, basically. Any other questions coming in? No, not for the moment. So, um, I hope you have learned today uh, what is a smart attachment. So you recognize, first of all, uh, the machine recognizes the attachment. Secondly, uh, it unlocks dedicated screens. And thirdly, you have a certain selection in mode. I hope you really like the, uh, the presentation. Um, the presentation will stay on Facebook uh, Live. Um, if you have questions afterwards, just drop uh, those questions. We will try to answer them. Otherwise, uh, contact your dealer. Um, uh, your dealer will be helpful uh, to explain you further the tool and the details if needed. Thank you very much for listening in today and bye-bye.